in yet another attempt to control every aspect of your life, the federal government has come up with a truly innovative program. The federal government is planning to implement legislation dubbed V2V, Connected Vehicle Communications, to be mandated on all private and commercial vehicles. The U.S. DOT Secretary, Anthony Fox, stated earlier this year that the planning and implementation program is a year ahead of schedule. One of the last bastions of personal freedom we had left, being travel, where we go, and how we get there, is now going to be under scrutiny and control if this legislation is passed by a technocratic society. All vehicles on the road being controlled, of course, for your safety by vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. So what is V2V communications? In short, V2V or vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications takes autonomous cars to a whole new level. The Connected Vehicle Safety Pilot is a research program that demonstrates the readiness of DSRC or dedicated short-range communications up to one-half mile based connected vehicle safety applications for nationwide deployment. The vision of the Connected Vehicle Safety Pilot Program is to test connected vehicle safety applications in real-world driving scenarios in order to determine their effectiveness at reducing crashes and to ensure that dev devices are safe and do not unnecessarily distract motorists or cause unintended consequences. Hmm, we'll get into that more in a minute. The National Highway Transportation Safety Authority states it's committed to improving safety and mobility on our nation's roadways. As we look ahead to the next stage of roadway safety in America, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle or V2V communication technology shows great promise in transforming the way Americans travel. In other words, they will dictate how you travel, and they'll do it by algorithms in vehicles communi communicating over open networks on open source based mm -hmm. platforms. Goes on to say that using V2V technology, vehicles ranging from cars to trucks and buses to trains could one day be able to communicate important safety and mobility information to one another that can help save lives, prevent injuries, ease traffic congestion, there's the global warming component, and improve the environment, and there's global warming component number two. In other words, leave the driving to them, because obviously over the past 100 to 110 years where people have been taking themselves from point A to point B, the government in their technocratic world has decided they can do it better. Quote, we are carrying the ball as far as we can to realize the potential of transportation technology to save lives, said the U.S. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox. This long-promised V2V rule is the next step in that progression. Hmm. Once deployed, V2V will provide 360-degree situational awareness on the road and will help us enhance vehicle safety. Now, I guess Mr. Fox is not aware that highway crashes and transportation fatalities are down considerably over the last five years without even deploying any such artificially intelligent technology. Make no mistake, these vehicles will be driven by artificial general intelligence technology. 360 degree situational awareness is what AI is very good at. It takes advantage of traffic signals, traffic, road conditions, congestion, and other things, and overtakes the driver's or overrides the driver's interference with the decision it may deem best. 
He goes on to say that, quote, advanced vehicle technologies may well pr prove to be the silver bullet in saving lives on our roadways. No, Mr. Rosekind, I think this will be the silver bullet in installing a totally encompassing technocratic government and existence. So let's take a look at how the NHTSA explains how these vehicles or this vehicle safety system is going to work. Set states here that connected vehicles have the potential to transform the way Americans travel through the creation of a safe, interoperable wireless communication network. Hmm. A system that includes cars, buses, trucks, trains, traffic signals, smartphones, and other devices. In the past, the U.S. Department of Transportation has focused on helping people survive crashes. Connected vehicle technology will change that paradigm by giving people the tools to avoid crashes. And it goes on to explain here why connected vehicle technologies are needed. Safety. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, there were 5.6 million crashes in 2013. The number of fatalities from vehicle crashes is falling, but still accounted for over 32,000 deaths. Now, I find that interesting because over here, it states that the motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for people ages 4 and then 11 through 12. 27 years old according to the CDC. I wonder what the CDC or when the CDC got involved with highway crashes as a disease statistic. Now it says here in mobility according to the Texas Transportation Institute, U.S. highway users wasted 6.9 billion hours stuck in traffic in 2014. Let's run some numbers really quick. Okay, so 6.9 billion hours. This is, they're claiming just in Texas alone, is 287.5 million days. Wow. Divided by 365, that's 787,671 years. 6.9 billion hours stuck in traffic in 2014 in Texas alone is 787,000 years. Wow, I don't know if I can believe that number. And then moving on down to the environment, it says that according to Texas Transportation Institute, the total amount of wasted fuel topped 3.1 billion gallons in 2014. And it goes on um, stating that connected vehicles, um, their environmental applications will give motorists the real-time information they need to make green transportation choices. There's one of those words we need to, we need to know sends up a red flag. Green, smart, Safety-related systems for connected vehicle technology will likely be based on dedicated short-range communications, or DSRC, which is a type of um, <clears throat> Wi-Fi open network. It goes on to say that the DSRC is fast, secure, and reliable. It's not secure. It's not secure at all. It's an open network. If these vehicles have no authentication process to communicate with each other. This is an open platform. This is an open network, non-secure.